Senator Tina Smith's staff was in Bemidji today to discuss a farm bill that's currently make it to, making its way up the chain at, in Washington, D.C. Reporter Sherelle Moore explains what the bill means for Minnesotans. Tomorrow morning, Senator Tina Smith and the rest of the Agriculture Committee in Washington, D.C. will have a markup of the farm bill. The farm bill is bipartisan with 12 different sections or titles. There are a few sections the senator will be specifically focusing on in D.C. She was able to advocate for rural development, broadband, um, dairy, sugar, livestock. Uh, she kept the nutrition program in, um, conservation. She made sure that there was um, uh, an, an increase. Tina Smith's staff has held several listening sessions just like these ones all over the state to figure out what exactly is most important for Minnesotans. Around our viewing area, forestry and livestock conservation have been big concerns. It depends where you go. Um, nutrition tends to be brought up. Conservation is a big one. Um, and um, commodities and crop insurance, uh, keeping crop insurance as it is. Once the bill gets out of the Senate, it'll come to the floor, which the Agriculture Committee is hoping will be done by the July 4th recess. The House will also have to pass their own bill. Once both bills pass, they'll go to conference, who will decide what goes into the final bill. Then it will be sent to the president for his signature. Patience is required because the whole process could take a few months. I'm not going to speculate when that might be signed, but uh, the Farm Bill does need to be um, signed or extended by September 30th, and that's to protect the commodity portions of the Farm Bill. Reporting of Bemidji, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. Now, if you would like more information about the Farm Bill, we have more information posted on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.